Other news today, a street race ended in a crash that killed three people in Fort Worth, and two of the victims in the crash were not part of the racing. But as Jason Allen reports, they were on their way home. A Camaro driven by a man witnesses told police had been racing drove right into a car carrying a couple turning into their neighborhood to go home. The violent crash killed all three people in the vehicles and left friends of the victims stunned. It's senseless. It's unnecessary. It's, as a matter of fact, he was actually out on a date with his wife. Um, and, uh, you know, they're not even one mile from the, their house, one block. Friends and family of Ben and Meg Arbor, who have four children, said they had just been out on a date. Their neighborhood in far south Fort Worth has struggled with street racing for years, according to neighbors. People drag race through here all night long, and even sometimes during the day in the summer, you can hear it, like early, even early morning, but definitely late at night, it's happening all the time. The medical examiner hasn't identified the driver of the Camaro, but an acquaintance told us he'd seen him racing earlier in the night in the area. He recently got his car parked about a week ago and showed it off, posted on a story, going racing on the highways, you know, that stuff. Police told us they're still looking for another driver in car that may have been involved in racing, but they have not released any descriptions or pictures of who investigators are looking for. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.